Hey guys, even here, and what the hell is this thing right here? This is Brad Welkin, and about three weeks out of Iron Classic, looking absolutely freaking nuts. This is insane. He looks freaking nuts. Now, guys, honestly, back when they posted the official list of the Iron Classic, I thought, I thought he might win it. I thought he might be the first or the second, like after Brandon Curry, very close to beating him, something like that. But then, as the time went on, as he posted more updates and Brandon posted a couple of orders, I thought, there is no chance. I thought, no way, of course, Brad is not gonna be the winner, he's probably gonna be like top 5, but now, looking at this, I'm not so sure, guys. I think he actually might have a legit chance of winning the Arnold Classic. What is really impressive in this physique right here is the completeness. You take a look at his chest, upper chest, lower chest, the entire chest, very good, very big and separated. Then delts, big delts, arms, very good arms. They were a primary focus of his offseason and it's obvious, you can see he improved them. They are looking massive. Then you look at the quads, big. Lateral head and the inner part, the adductor area, is also improved, you know, his legs are even better. And then, on top of all this freaky mass, you see a very small streamlined waist and also really good symmetrical and developed deep abs. Super, super complete. From behind, also you can see in the background right there, you can see his glutes and his lower back. At this point in prep, at two and a half, three weeks out, he is right on the track, he is spot on, like there isn't much, uh, much body fat left on those glutes and that lower back, it all looks just dry, crisp, it looks fantastic, it looks great. This is what his most muscular looked like last year at Chicago Pro, where he took second behind Hunter Lebrada, where he looked significantly improved from the year before, but this looks like a boy compared to now. Now he is way bigger. The difference is rather significant, it's quite obvious. He is a different bodybuilder now. Yeah, I don't know what the hell did this guy do, how, how is he even able to make this kind of progress in a matter of less than a year? I don't know what the hell is this Matt Jensen guy doing to these, to these clients of his, to these bodybuilders like Nick Walker and the others, uh, Sean Clarida, Brad Wilkin obviously right here and many others, whatever the hell he's doing, it's working, it's working, I don't know if it is ton of drugs or... I don't know, just, just doing the right things, or just, I don't know, what the hell could it be, but whatever it is, you know, Matt Jensen seems to be like the best coach right now, off-season, non-season, whatever, I mean, he is good, whatever he's doing, it's working, so this is Brad Wilkin right now, I mean, the improvements that he's making year after year, and now, let's say, in a matter of months, it's just ridiculous, and the only thing that we are expecting right now from Brad is to Freaking kill it at the Arnold Classic. Can he win the show? I don't know, but it is possible. At this moment, Brandon Curry, who is of course the, the, the top runner, who is in driver's seat right now, only about two hours after Brad Wilkin posted his photo, Brandon Curry posted his. Up until this point, he didn't really post a lot of stuff. He kept it low profile, but apparently, obviously, he felt threatened. And that's why he posted this photo only two hours after Brad posted his. And it is funny what he writes here. He shows how insecure he actually is. So he says, uh, uh, who else does fasted cardio when they get up? Uh, then he says, deplete, deplete, deplete is the goal at this point. Getting flatter and flatter, day by day. Uh, no filter, no photo enhancement, no sweat or shine, no fancy lighting. Uh, so what he's trying to say here is, uh, this is me, look at me. This is me without a lot of carbs, so I'm not even full. I'm very, very depleted. This is fasted. I'm, I did cardio before this. When he started writing this caption, he wasn't direct. He didn't go like, uh, I did cardio before I took this photo, so I look very flat. No, he said, who else does fasted cardio when they get up? An indirect way of saying, I am flat, I did cardio. But then he continues, the plate, the plate, the plate. So he's trying to tell us here that he's not even full. And this is what he looks. And he does look really full, actually. He looks really good. He looks good. 
he doesn't look flat at all. No, does this look flat to you? If this is him flat, we can only imagine what he would look like if he was carved up. I mean, that's what he's trying to lead us on to think. Or maybe he's actually full here. I don't know. But is he better than Brad Wilkin right now? I mean, Brad didn't have a need to say that he's flat or whatever. Of course, they're all flat. They're dieting. They're rapping for shows. So they're, I'm guessing they're both flat. But no, Brandon doesn't look flat. Uh, maybe he could be fuller a little bit. But no, not flat. And he does look really impressive. Does he look better than Brad? Maybe a little tiny bit better in the upper body. You know, they both have really good uh, everything, like in the upper body. Shoulders, arms, chest, flat stomach, uh, good waist, uh, symmetrical and developed abs. Brad's abs are probably deeper, but Brandon also showcases a good set of abs. Though, Brandon is not showing his legs. And Brad, Brad has great legs. So, right now, at this point, based on what these guys look, based on these photos... It's gonna be seriously close. I'm not even sure who looks better at this point. These guys have very similar physiques, types of physiques. I mean, they have that clean look. They have those round and, and, and bubbly kind of muscle. Uh, while Brad has probably bigger and better legs, Brandon has a really overpowering back. So it's gonna be a great battle. Now, it's interesting here that Phil Heath who is, by the way, uh, Brad Wilkins' brother-in-law, and they are very friendly, they talk, you know, they, they recently had a phone call, Brad talked about it on the podcast, he gave him some tips on how to do better at a two-day show, stuff like that, so they're friendly, but here, Phil Heath's caption says, you are in the driver's seat, I expect no issues. So, Phil Heath, even after seeing what Brad looks like right now, he does not perceive him as an issue to Brandon Curry. Do you guys think this is fair? Or is Phil Heath seeing something we don't? I don't? I don't think so. I don't know what the hell did he say that. But me, personally, I strongly feel that this physique of Brad Wilkin right now, he has a legit chance of actually winning and beating Brandon Curry. I don't agree with Phil Heath. I don't think Brandon Curry is in the driver's seat. No, not after seeing this photo. This guy. With round muscle bellies, with clean look, with great waist, with a lot of muscle, and with great wheels, with great legs. Anyways, soon enough we'll find out, but I gotta give it to these guys, Matt Jensen and Brad Fulkin. Whatever they're doing, it's working well. And how is Nick Walker doing now without his coach, without Matt Jensen? He didn't really say anything about a new coach. I don't know if he's doing his offseason alone. This is him right now. Is he looking good? Of course, not as good as Brad Wilkin, but good. This is uh, the last photo of Nick Walker that Matt posted. This is when they started the offseason. He says this was the first photo, progress photo, that uh, Nick sent to Matt. This was before when they were actually working together. So, I mean, you can't really compare these photos because this one was closer to his last competition, to Mr. Olympia. So he was, as the time went on, he was adding more body fat. And apparently, I mean, obviously, when you get a little bit more body fat, you don't look as impressive as you look when you are very lean and full with all the food. So here, he probably looked better than he looks right now. But you know what? Nick is not complaining. He says his strength is going up, digestion is great, appetite is high, and his weight is 294. For a guy who is 5 foot 6, that is a lot. That's a lot. That, that's heavy, guys. That's big. Now, of course, he's not as lean as he was uh, after, you know, after the prep, after the shows, uh, after his body was lean and full, you know, and still on a lot of pre-contest heavy drugs. No, it's not the case anymore. He leveled out. After the show, he, he had a great rebound. He had one of the greatest rebounds I saw in a while. And then my assumption is he went off for a while to, to detox, to let his body rest from all the, all the abuse that he put it through. But he sort of leveled out. He doesn't look, you know, as veiny, as vascular, as grainy and hard as he looked in that time period. But he doesn't look, 
you know, small, he doesn't, he doesn't look like flat, he looks big, full and round, the way he's supposed to look like during the offseason. Now, again, he didn't say anything about the new coach, but he said a little something about uh, his new sponsors. Take a look at this. I just want you guys to understand, like, I feel like me and you guys, you being my followers, we have felt a very uh, trustworthy bond with each other. So it's very important to me that uh, the next company that I go with is a company that I truly believe in, their products, what they represent, and that we mesh well. And it's also a company that you guys can stand behind as well with me. Um, so I'm in no rush to um, really make any choices right now because I want to make sure the next company I go with is going to be the company I pretty much end with. Um, so taking my time right now is very important. So there you go, guys. He didn't choose a sponsor yet. I am sure he's drowning in offers. I'm sure the high level top companies are burying him right now and he's gonna take his sweet time and choose the best option as he should. As far as the coach we have no info yet, we basically don't have any info on the new sponsor as well but we got what we got and as soon as we get some more I will post it on my channel so guys subscribe, stay tuned so you don't miss out on any of the future updates and bodybuilding videos. If you enjoyed this video give it a like and for more stuff like this subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching, all the best and bye bye.